Thanks for tuning in to our coverage of the 2024 World Crokinole Championship. The finals lineup is set, and now Andrew Hutchinson and Justin Slater will battle for third place here in a rematch of the Ontario singles final from a month prior. Andrew Hutchinson was victorious in that match. Let's see if he can earn the bronze medal here today. Justin Slater starts out with an open 20, and Hutchinson goes just along with his reply. A good position there from Slater, although Hutchinson nearly scores it off a peg. That was gorgeous. Slater trying for the 20 there, but it doesn't go. Maybe a chance for Hutchinson here from the left. This is tricky and it jams on him. So Slater a chance to sit two discs on the board, up a 20 without hammer. This is clearly an advantageous position. Touch 20 available here and Hutchinson nails it. That was a really nice one going straight away from the camera. Slater makes a touch 20 of his own there to restore the 20 advantage. Hutchinson will be pushing for a lot here and it bounces out of the hole on him. A brutal miss. And now Hutchinson will have to peel. Two players in good spirits despite disappointing semi-final losses. Slater at two shots left each scores that 20 and guarantees a point in this opening round. The miss from Hutchinson will make it two. And after inconsequential final shots, Justin Slater is going to steal the first two points of the third place game. The highlight of the match there, I mentioned it as it was going. That was a lovely touch 20 from Hutchinson, but Slater was right there on the reply. Hutchinson there gets the open 20, which avoided him in that first round to start off number two. And another one there, that one bounced up and fell. Slater levels it 2-2 through as many shots. Both of these players, of course, elite 20 scorers, especially open 20 shooters. It is no surprise to see that Hutchinson has made his fourth straight to start off this round. And Slater's bounces out a little over hit, maybe. But now an advantage to Hutchinson. Let's see if he can get away here. It looks like that's what he's going for. Oh, not far enough. Just caught that a little bit too full. You can see the, uh, the black disc caught the peg on the way out. If he had got that clean... He would certainly have got the roll away, but Slater can't convert the hangar 20 opportunity. It's a little tricky. Hutchinson looking up the line. This time he scores the 20. Slater is right there with the open 20 to match. He still trails by one, but with a disc in play. Two shots left each. Hutchinson will try to get away as far as he can here. But he jams on the takeout. Slater can sit two discs in the 15 which he does, and that's actually a really nice roll over there. Slater demonstrating how good he is when there are discs in play. Hutchinson has to go for a double, and it jams. So with one disc in the 10, if Slater can stick this in the 15, he'll win the round, and he does. 25 points on the board is enough to overcome the 20 deficit, and Justin Slater is four points to none in front here as he starts off round three with the open 20. Andrew Hutchinson was victorious in the previous 20s race, but couldn't maintain the advantage. Let's see if he can hold on in this one. Players are perfect through three shots each. Justin Slater to take his fourth. That was the shot that bounced out on him last round, so well done to, uh, to make the adjustment. Both players good through four shots each. And Slater misses long with number five. Hutchinson, can he do better on this roll away? He can. It's kind of a, a defensive follow through there, I think. Slater decides to play with uh, discs on his side of the board here instead of pushing for the follow through right away. Now this might be an angle 20 opportunity. Slater just sends it wide of the hole. Hutchinson a chance if he can stick well back. He'll be in great position and that is an excellent shot. Jammed right up against that peg. Slater did well to remove it. But it's an open takeout for the two points. Hutchinson is on the board. Four 20s apiece and the disc on the board to Hutchinson. That angle in try from Slater only narrowly missed. And what an excellent defensive shot from Hutchinson. Now Hutchinson will need to continue to play well if he wants to stay alive in game one. 
That is not how he wanted to start. Slater with the disc on the board and control. Hutchinson going for it all right there. Loses his shooter. Slater scores the open 20. That's punishing. Not sure what Hutchinson was playing for there. Perhaps the hide. Probably the hide. There's a much better chance for it here. That looks like a pretty good one. Oh, it must be a pretty good one as Slater is second-guessing himself on the best way to attack this takeout. Decides through Hogan's Alley and makes it clean. That was very nice. With four shots left each, Andrew can maybe afford to hide another one or two, but that's not near tight enough. I bet he hides this one as well. Another very good hide. But Slater can see this through the wide angle and gets it. Hutchinson, I think, needs to come in here. As he needs to score a win in this round to keep surviving, keep fighting. That one coming up short will just about seal it, and indeed it will. As Andrew will push for this and gets the 20 out of it. But Slater already has the game-winning advantage. He scores the open 20 to win the round and take game one six points to four. And clearly the highlights there were Justin Slater's escapes from Hutchinson's hides, as well as this... Perhaps fortunate, certainly fortunate after that collision, but a great takeout 20 for Hutch. The players will take a second to settle in to the, uh, to the other side of the board here. Slater winning that first game now finds himself just five points away from what would be a second consecutive third place in the Tavistock singles competition. Hutchinson starts out with the open 20, and Slater is there to match. Hutchinson is good through three shots, as is Slater there. Three twenties apiece, getting to a critical point, and Hutchinson just bounces out. Not clean from Slater, he's left a disc on in the five. If Hutchinson can score a 20, he'll have an advantage, but he, did, he scores a 20, but not the color he wanted to. Slater with a commanding lead in the first round here, off of that gift 20. Good shot to carve back in there, but this round... At least Slater is playing like this round is pretty well sealed. Hutchinson went for it all there and came up just short. So a solid win for Justin Slater in the first round of game two. And I'll say as well, with that last shot, the last shot of the round, he just decided to go over the hole for fun. Didn't want to move to his left to make it an easier shot. Just made it simply. In this second round, it's Hutchinson with an early lead. This, this shot is giving him a little bit of trouble here. But that's really well handled. Just played within the, uh, within the tolerances there. Knew he could catch a little bit of peg and still get the takeout. Really nice shot by Hutchinson. Fortunate, perhaps, to get the perfect hide that Slater forced to peel, which he makes. Now Hutchinson... Up a 20 with four shots left each. And let's see, can Hutchinson hold his nerve here in this round ending 20 race? Or at least late round, I shouldn't say round ending. Good through a couple of shots with two left each. Hutchinson is up three to two. Slater scores at Hutchinson now to guarantee at least a point. Gets it. Steely nerve from Hutchinson, knowing that his back was a little bit up against it. He puts that one in the house and takes the two points to tie up this second game of this third place match. And that really was the shot that made the difference there. You see a little, uh, little exhale, a bit of a smile from Hutchinson off of that. But a grimace there as he leaves the hanger short for Slater, who easily converts it. This is not a position that you want to be in here, down a 20 uh, without the hammer to Slater. You can score as many 20s as you want, but without a miss from the player with hammer, you're losing. Hutchinson rebounds from the opening miss to score his next three 20s, but Slater has been perfect as well. well that one may be a little bit short of pace, but just enough. Hutchinson needs just to keep scoring these. That one 
Maybe it went in the side a little bit, but it counts just as much. 6-5. Some very solid 20 shooting, and that's going to seal the round. Slater goes up 7-5. With a shot left each. Hutchinson a heavy hanger. Slater gets the perfect round. Great shooting from him. Three takeout 20s and five open 20s makes eight out of eight shots. Really nice shooting from him. He goes up four to two and is a point away from clinching the match. Hutchinson on hammer here. Needs a hold, but he's missed well short. A follow through opportunity here. This looks pretty straight and nailed by Hutchinson. Excellent shot. Slater, though, keeps the pressure on. He's been dialed on the 20s here. Hutchinson has been relatively level to the task in these last few rounds. We're 3-3 three, three with four shots left each. And of course, the, uh, the irony here is Hutchinson could shoot perfect and still lose the match. Slater just needs to 20 out. He doesn't look like missing at the moment. And it's Hutchinson who goes long. Trailing by a 20, Slater sticks that one in no man's land. Hutchinson is going to need something miraculous here. You'll need a 20 or a uh, just to weld this up against a peg. Lots of action on that. But even if Hutchinson can score the bounce back 20, it will just be a tie. Justin Slater here will claim the third place match at the 2024 World Championship. Strong shooting from both players, but eventually it is Justin Slater avenging his defeat from a month prior. Thanks for tuning in and stay tuned for the final.